What's up everybody? There's a light behind my head. My name's Russ, rwgresearch.com. Today I'm going to be trying um, something interesting and different. So I'm playing with the, uh, playing, ha, playing with this magnetizer, right? Okay, so if you haven't seen this on my channel, go check it out. And I'm going to be using this fixture right here as my test fixture. And the test today is pretty simple. Um, all I'm trying to do today is see if I can magnetize a neodymium. Okay. Now, the reason why this uh, test is important is because I have a regular neodymium magnet right here, as a north and a south. All right. And what I've done is I have taken the torch, all right, and I have heated the magnet until it's basically has nothing. Okay. There is a tiny, like little bitty residual amount of magnetism there. Tiny, tiny amount, but I don't think it's enough to affect it, so it will attract to either side. Now the goal here is to see if I can magnetize it back to the same strength or higher. So I'll get out the Gauss, Gauss meter and uh, we'll check the, uh, the ratings on these when we're done. So that's what I'm trying. Simple, short little experiment, but I'm gonna have a lot of these I'm afraid. So this is just the first of many, many, many. So let's see if we can do it. All right, so I currently have that little guy just sitting in here, okay? And I am just gonna let it sit in there. I'm not gonna make a holder for this experiment. Now it at least can't fly out and hit somebody. And uh, let's charge it up and fire it. All right, well, I fired it Just to give you an idea of reference. We put 8.33 kilovolts, or I'm sorry, kiloamps of current. This is our voltage we fired at, and we currently fired it at 8.3. Do, do, do. Well, it's magnetized. Let's see how well. Alright, so let's check it, see if we accomplished our goal. Okay, so here's the one that we magnetized. Let's take one that was pre-magnetized. About five, five point one three at the maximum point. Let's check another one, just see if we're the same. Right at about five. Let's see what the homemade jobby did. about five. So looks like yes we can demagnetize and remagnetize a magnet 
using heat as our demagnetizer. That's a good thing to know. That's it for this one. Short and sweet. Just a simple experiment. Peace.